Good morning, y'all. Guess what? This is it. This is the moment. We just got the res we just got the results to okay, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm tongue tied. We just got the results to Pollux's DNA test. I woke up oh. this morning to find <laughs> Look at this. I woke up this morning to find an email from Wisdom Panel with the results. It has killed me to not open the email, but I've had to wait for Brecken to get up. Randy had to run and get a haircut this morning. He had an appointment, <laughs> and then I've been dealing with it all morning long. So I have been waiting, and now is the moment. We are gonna find out what Pollux's breed is. <laughs> So I'm going to sit down here in the floor so that you all can see them, so that you all can see them playing. And I want to tell you a couple things before we do the results. And I promise I have not looked. I am about to burst. I feel like it is Christmas morning and I can't open my presents. Look at this. Okay. Anyway. So if you all are new to my channel, welcome. Hey, I'm sorry I'm talking so fast, but I'm so excited. If you all been around on my channel, you know that we adopted Pollux. This little guy right here wagging his tail six months ago. We have no idea what his breed is. And when I posted videos about him on my channel, those videos have gone viral. One of those videos has almost a million views. It is crazy. But everybody wanted to know what breed Pollux was. And so we did a DNA test by a company called Wisdom Panel. I did a whole video about how we did the test. And I'll link it right up here if you want to see it. So we actually mailed the results or mailed the test kit back to Wisdom Panel June the 26th. Then on July 1st, I got an email from Wisdom Panel letting me know that they had received the DNA kit in the mail, which was very reassuring because I was honestly worried about it. But Wisdom Panel has got this covered. They emailed me to let me know that they had received it. Then yesterday, on my birthday, July the 10th, I got another email from Wisdom Panel. So as soon as I saw it, I like panicked. I was so excited. But it, it was an email letting me know that they were able to extract the DNA from Pollux's test kit and that they were working on it. So it was just like a status update. And it said that the next email I received from them would be the results. Well, I guess I just thought it would be a couple days or a week or something until the results came in. But at 3.30 this morning, we got the results email. Of course, I was sound asleep. But as soon as I got up at 7 a.m. this morning and I checked my phone, there it was. So I went running into the bedroom and I woke up Brandy to tell him, Preckin was sound asleep. So I have patiently been waiting for everybody to wake up so that we could do this video. So now's the time. Are you so excited, Pollux? <laughs> You're so excited. You can't wait to tell. You're just wagging your tail, telling everybody you're so excited. Oh, get him. Get him with the booty. Show us what you got, Pollux. Yeah. <laughs> so in the last video about Pollux's DNA test, I told you all that we had a really big announcement, a super huge family announcement. And everybody's here with me, Randy and Brecken, but Kendall is away at school. So she can't be part of the announcement, but she is so excited, let me just tell you, to be part of this. But the big announcement is... We started a Pollux and Maxi fan club. Yes, we have fan club gear! Everybody on YouTube, since the videos have gone viral about Pollux and Maxi, have begged me to come out with t-shirts and gear about the dogs. And so we decided to start a Pollux and Maxi fan club. So you can buy t-shirts. I'm wearing the military green tee. And on the sleeve is the Welcome to My Curls logo. So let me bring in the family and we're gonna show you all the shirts. Okay, so here we all are. <laughs> we are, well you can't even see me. We're all in our fan club tees. So you can go to the website right now and we're doing this kind of pre-order style. So ordering is available for seven days, y'all. That's it, seven days from the airing of this video, you can get your Pollux and Maxi fan club t-shirts. It's available in, this is the military green. Randy's in the charcoal. 
Brecken is in the blue and there is a white. And for you ladies out there, you can get the V-neck. I know you all love the V-neck. So all the colors are available in crew neck and V-neck except for the blue. The blue is not available in a V-neck, y'all. Sorry, but we love the blue. So you can go to the website, welcometomycurls.com and sign up for the Pollux and Maxi Fan Club. And if you do, if you join up, just give us your email address and then we plan to release long sleeve tees and hoodies this fall and we're gonna do some special holiday stuff. So if you sign up for the email address, you're the very first person to know when new designs are released, if there are special discount codes that you can get when you buy fan club gear. So make sure that you sign up. So when you go to welcometomycurls.com, there's gonna be a little pop-up, Pollux and Maxi Fan Club. Just put your email in there and then you're signed up. We're so excited about the fan club. Pollux and Maxi are aside, excited, and we love the tees, y'all, and we hope that you love them, too. They are only available for pre-sale, so go to the website, welcometomycurls.com, order your gear now, and it will be shipped to you ASAP, and all the information will be listed on the website. And here's the fun part. Here is the bonus. We are doing a free tea giveaway. So in order to be eligible to win the free tea, you have to buy a tea, and then after the buying window has closed, one lucky winner is gonna get a free tea. Okay, are y'all ready? Let's get to the results. Yeah. All right, so you wrote yours. Mm -hmm. Dad's writing his. Pollux, you gonna guess? You have a guess? Oh, I didn't watch Kendall's video. I don't know what she said. Hey, I gotta get in the middle. Do you? Do you? I do. <laughs> okay, it. here we are. So what we decided to do to just make this a little more fun is each of us wrote down what breed we think Pollux is. And nobody knows what the other person said. So we're gonna open it now and show you our guesses and then we're gonna open the real results and see who was right. So, B, you wanna go first? Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? Am I just showing the camera? Talk to them. Tell them what, it, what you think. Okay. My guess is just some kind of Border Collie Coonhound mix. Border Collie Coonhound mix. Yeah, something along okay. those lines. My guess is what is Shepherd that? Beagle mix. Shepherd Beagle. Beagle. Okay, that's unexpected. And since Kendall's not here, she's away at school, she recorded her own guess and sent it to me. So here it is. I think Pollux is some kind of coon hound or border collie mix. Okay, here's my guess. B. My guess is border collie Coonhound. So B and I actually match uh -oh. Border Collie Coonhound. I once our vet told me that she thought Pollux was Border Collie. I did a lot of research and watched videos on Border Collies, and the way they run, the way they dip their head, really, y'all, that is so Pollux. If, well, if if you watch him zoomies in the yard, doing the zoomies in the yard you will see the way he bobs his head. But this is our guess. Okay, now. When do I win? If I get it right. Um, no, not a grill, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Okay, so let me, we're gonna, here we go. Let's open the real results. Wait. I feel like you're right up on me. Well. So we're going to wisdompanel.com. It says we finished. Are we ready? We're ready. Ready? Here we go. Oh! None of us were right. <laughs> huh. Oh my goodness. He is 17% American Stafford Terrier. And then he is 20% Siberian Husky. And he is 15% Boxer. 
Oh my yeah. gosh, I have to call my sister. She has had three boxers. Like that is her dog breed. So never would have guessed that. 17% American Stafford Terrier, 15% Boxer, 20% Siberian Husky, which oh I know gosh. what that is, 1% Thai Ridgeback, I don't know what that is, and then a 10% Toy Fox Terrier. Oh my gosh, 2% Short Hair Dotson, a weenie dog, a hot dog dog. Dash Hound. Dash Hound. That's a Dotson, right? This is Dash Hound. But, yeah, but that's a hot dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he is a Mexican street dog. 1% <laughs> Mexican street dog. Okay, so we're going to Mexico in January, and Pollux is going with us, so he'll be right at home. Oh. There's more. There's more. Oh, my goodness. He is 14% Labrador Retriever. Then why the heck wouldn't he get in the pool? Pollux. There you go. Told you. Yeah. I Five, won. Beagle. Five percent beagle. Oh my gosh. So the way this is broken down is by class. He's mainly a guard dog. He has Asian in him. Then he is terrier. He has 14% from the sporting breed. And then he's a hound. And then very last is a Caucasian shepherd dog. Border collie is only 1%. 1% border collie. Well, I had y'all beat. That's crazy. Oh yeah. my gosh. He has some St. Bernard in him. It says they did 17 million calculations to analyze Pollux's genetic breed. That is crazy. Okay, his health. <clears throat> Pollux is all clear for 29 genetic conditions that could impact. What does that mean? Probably like cancers and yeah. stuff. So he has no. Oh, here we go. So he has no. Oh, this is cool. So they list out all of these um, common medical conditions and tell us whether Pollux has that or not. So he has no medication sensitivity, no blood clotting disorders, no, I mean, lots of this I don't know, but we can view all that. Let's see. I think he's cleared for all of it, yeah. He has no, no notable anything. So he is in perfect health. Okay, and then what's this? Traits. Oh, Pollux is a very good boy, <laughs> but here's what else we found out. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's like his color traits, his coat, coat length. Curl. No curl. He has huh? no curl. Dang it, Pollux. He doesn't fit in. Mm -hmm. he, it says he is the occasional shedder. <laughs> yeah. Wrong. <laughs> it shows us Pollux's family tree and what it could have looked like. Oh, these are his parents. Yeah. Oh, it shows his parents. <laughs> Big old mix. Just want to point that out. <laughs> A shepherd. So one of his parents could have been a terrier, a beagle, or a shepherd mix, and then the other parent was a husky or boxer Labrador retriever. And it goes, it does his parents, his grandparents, and his grandparents. So his Aww. great grandparents were like full breeds, and then it just kept. Like... Yeah. But where's the border collie? So see, there's my two that I picked. Border Collie, though, is just like a 1%. Border Collie could be in, like... Could have been in these. one of these. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe that. Daddy, get a new grill. No! No! no. <laughs> Mama said it. No, no Mama no, no, did no. not say you it. You should Look. get a new car. No! And then what the I, heck? And then no. I'll take Look, Dodson, that is a hot dog dog. Yeah. That's there a is no hell. way Pollux is a hot dog dog. That's that's a dash No, animal. I bet he, he's a long dog. Mexican street dog. No, that. Look, there's his tail. He no, absolutely he skittish. Don't you move. I, I only have like You're fine. 15 minutes. Okay, Brecken has to go to work. But basically, See ya. we were all wrong. Pollux. No, 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 no. no. Well, <laughs> Y'all were wrong. Pollux is not a border collie. We have been calling him no, a border no, no, no. collie for six months. He is 
percent border collie. <laughs> so basically zero. He is. What are we gonna What are we gonna call him? He's a terrier boxer mix with a little bit of husky and a little bit of street dog. He's a lo- he's a lot bit. of a lot. Terrier How about that? boxer wolf wolf. <gasps> Oh my God. <laughs> a, a timber wolf inside joke yeah oh my gosh okay this is super interesting <laughs> we're gonna have to sit here and digest this <laughs> anyway that's it y'all we were all wrong he was the most right i cannot believe I, that you don't know how much that pains me to say that <laughs> i only went for beagle because of his colors he was the most the shape of his colors <laughs> well there it is so we want to say thank you thank you thank you to wisdom panel for doing the complimentary test for pollux we appreciate it so much if you all are thinking about doing a dna test on your dog check out wisdom panel go to their website this has been super enlightening i, I mean i could spend an hour on here looking at all this information crazy oh my gosh but y'all, go to the website, get yourself a Pollux and Maxi fan club tee. And if this, if these shirts sell well, we're going to come out with long sleeve tees and hoodies in the fall. So stay tuned. Sign up for the email list and be part of the fan club. And something I didn't tell you. If you order a tee, Pollux and Maxi have something very special that they're going to put in your package. And I'm not going to tell you what it is. It's a secret. But you have to order a tee to find out. So what do y'all think about it, Paul? It's you the husky. You're a husky and a terrier and a boxer. Why didn't you just tell us that? What do y'all think about it? I cannot believe this. Give it a minute. American Stafford Terrier. So unexpected. Okay, so I can click on American Stafford Terrier and it tells me all about them. Their lifespan, their guard dogs, their height, their weight. They are being so loud. They're cooking lunch. I know you're still recording. But look, they have a short snout. Pollux doesn't have a short snout. Well, Pollux's snout is probably from something else. I'm mind blown. Where is Pollux? Pollux, are you going to come look at this, buddy? You didn't even have him come over and look at him with us. <laughs> he, what you want me to do? Pick him up? Y'all, this is absolute nuts. I'm mind blown. I'm going to have to sit here and study this and just take this all in, and I'm going to have to call my sister. But that's it. Pollux is not a border collie. He's 1%, and we thought all along he was border collie. Wrong. He is not. Wow. So now I have a lot of research to do. But thank you all for joining us. Uh, I hope that you are as excited, as in, intrigued, and shocked as we are. Because I am I'm truly shocked. Can you be any louder over there? We have a new air fryer. Randy is obsessed with the air fryer. Is she yes, I'm recording. And so that's what's happening. This is real life in the Hayden house, y'all. But thank you all for joining us. Comment below. Let me know what you think. I honestly don't think anybody has ever guessed American Stafford. No, American. How do you say that word? Staffordshire. No one has guessed an American Staffordshire Terrier. That is the first time that I think I have ever heard of that breed. So in all of y'all's guesses and comments, I think everybody was wrong. Every single one of us had been fooled. Not me. Y'all, okay. I'm, I'm never going to hear the end of this with the beagle. Oh, like, sorry. never. Oh, my gosh. Go to the website. Shirts are available right now. Right now. Get yourself a fan cup tea. All right, y'all. See you later. <laughs>